Hello, and welcome to a CISSP micromodule on covert channels and backdoors. The CISSP candidate should know the difference between a covert channel and a backdoor. Both of these are mechanisms that allow a user to have backend entrance into an application, typically with some level of administrative privilege. For developers, it helps with fixing bugs, and for attackers, it helps to carry out malicious activity. The quickest way to memorize the difference between covert channel and backdoor is to look for the double O's. The double O stands for good because the word good has two O's in it. The word backdoor also has two O's in it, thus it's a good thing. The term maintenance hook is also used interchangeably with backdoor and trapdoor, which conveniently also has the double O. Trapdoor is good and it means the same thing as backdoor and maintenance hook. It's related to developers, and it's a good thing. Once again, the double O's are something good for the developer, however, what you may need to know is that they are bad if they're left in. The V is something that violates. So remember that this is something that violates security policy. So look for the match in the V, and that would be covert channel. It's easy to get the concept of covert channel mixed up with backdoor, trapdoor, and maintenance hook because they all have the same function in a way. Covert channels are not intentional and they allow attacks that allow the transference of information. And this is also known as exfiltration. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. And thanks for watching.